students welcome in this video today we are going to start our fourth chapter that is exponent so in this chapter we will uh, discuss about the uh, simple points and with the help of that points we will do the exercises so can uh, so we, we can do the exercises very easily uh, there are two exercises in this in this chapter exercise 4.1 and 4.2 i'll try to give you all the questions in this video so let's start what is exponent when a number multiplied several times for example a multiplied several times suppose n times so how can we write this one this is a raised to the power n it means a is base here and how many times is repeated it is it's repeated n times so that is called exponent or power and that is called base let's get a, get an example with number when a number 3 is multiplied 5 times when a number 3 multiplied 5 times so base is 3 here and how many times is repeated 1 2 3 4 5 so it is 5 we can read it 3 raised to the power 5 that is exponent and that is base there are some rules or some laws of exponents so let's see the laws of exponent here is laws of exponent the first law is if two same number multiplied with each other and they have their exponent for example a is a number which has the power m and a raised to the power n then we will do bases are same here so write here a and the exponent will be added m plus n so let's see uh, this uh, uh, law with a with an example 2 raised to the power 3 into 2 raised to the power 5 bases are same here so 2 3 plus 5 it means 2 raised to the power 8 answer that is our first law now second law is when two same number divided with each other and they are having their power then their power will be subtracted for example 5 raised to the power 8 divided by 5 raised to the power 4 then 5 raised to the power 8 minus 4 the answer will be 5 raised to the power 4 and the next rule is <coughs> if a number has two powers a raised to the power m a raised to the power whole n then their exponent will be multiplied for example if 2 has raised to the power 3 whole to the power 4 it means 2 3 into 4 it means base is 2 and exponent is 4 3 is a 12 some additional rules are also here so let's see some additional rules here some additional laws <clears throat> so first law is if two different numbers multiplied with each other and they have their same exponent it means a into b raised to the power n then we can write a raised to the power n into b raised to the power n it means this power n is on a also and on b also example 2 into 3 raised to the power n it means 2 raised to the power 4 it means 2 to the power 4 and 3 to the power 4 the next additional law is if two different numbers divided with each other and they are having their same power it means 8 raised to the power n divided by b raised to the power n for example if 2 upon 3 raised to the power 4 it means 2 raised to the power 4 3 raised to the power 4 that is the second law third one is if a number has power 0 it means the value is 
For example, if 5 raised to the power 0, value is 1. Or 1000 raised to the power 0, the value is also 1. Any number has the power 0, the value will be 1. If a number has power 1, it means the number itself. For example, 5 raised to the power 1 means 5. 100 raised to the power 1 means 100. Now we will do uh, some exercises. So let's do exercise 4.1. Here is exercise 4.1 and in this question I will give you first all the answers and question number 2 A, B, C, D. Question number E you can see in the notes. Here is exercise 4.1 and all the questions are on the basis of our laws of exponent which, are, which we have seen right now. So 5 raised to the power 0 equals to 1. 5 to the power 12 and 5 to the power 9 it means... 5 to the power 12 plus 9 equals to 5 to the power 21. 9 to the power 5, it means 9 multiplied 5 times. When you multiply all the numbers, you will get 59049. Now, 2 to the power 8 and 2 to the power 5, here is the sign of division. So, 8 minus 5, 2 to the power 3 answer. Here, 5 is here and 2 powers are here. 5 raised to the power 3 and whole power 9. So, we will multiply the exponent. 5, 9, 3 is a 27. That is the answer. This is the same question. 6, 5 into 2. And 6 raised to the power 10 answer. Let's do our next exercise. Question number 2. Exercise 4.1. This, this is question number 2nd A and B. Question number A is 3 raised to the power 0. It means the value is 1. And when a number is having power 1. Then it is equal to the number itself. So 3 ones are 3. Answer is 3. Question number B. 15 raised to the power 5 and 5 raised to the power 3. So we can uh, divide it into two parts. 3 into 5. 5 threes are 5 threes are 15 raised to the power 5. Only I have divided this into two parts. 5 threes are 15 because we need 5 here because here is 5. Here is base 5. So base 5. Oh. We can write it 3 raised to the power 5 into 5 raised to the power 5 divided by 5 raised to the power 3. Now here we can see the uh, base, uh, base are same here. Here is 5 and here is 5 and the sign of division is here. So 3 raised to the power 5 into 5 raised to the power 5 minus 3. Or 3 raised to the power 5 into 5 raised to the power 5 minus 3 is 2. Now 3 multiplied by 5 times and 5 multiplied 2 times. 3 into 3. Into 5 into 5. 3 3's are 9, 9 3's are 27, 27 3's are 81 and 81 3's are 243 into 25. Now we will multiply both. I going to multiply this number 243 3 multiplied by 25. 5 3 is 15. 5 here. 5 4 is 20 and 1 21. 2 here and 1. 5 2 is 10 and 2 12. 0 here. 3 2 is 6. 4 2 is 8. 2 2 is 4. 
zero six. So the answer is six zero seven five. Let's do our next exercise C and D. Here is exercise four point one question number C. Minus two raised to the power twelve minus two to the power two whole power five minus two raised to the power three whole to the power nine. So minus two twelve here minus two two into five five two is a ten minus two nine three is a twenty seven four minus two all the base are same here so minus two and because here is sign of multiplication so we will add all the exponent twelve plus ten plus twenty seven it means minus two seven into nine two and one three three and one four minus two raised to the power forty nine answer now next question is Six upon three raised to the power three, nine upon four raised to the power three. Because here is three, so I am going to divide it into two parts. Two into three, three two is a six raised to the power three upon three raised to the power three. There is a rule: if two numbers are different, they are dividing each other, and the power is same. So six raised to the power three here, and three raised to the power three. Into nine raised to the power three, and I'm going to divide it two two is a four raised to the power three. Oh, because this is multiplication, and here is bracket. After bracket, the power is here. So three two to the power raised to the power three, and three raised to the power three upon three raised to the power three. Into this one number. Two raised to the power three into two raised to the power three. Now let's see. Can we cancel any number here? Yes. Cancel any number here? Yes. This three raised to the power three. This three raised to the power three. Numerator and denominator can be cancelled here. Two raised to the power three and two raised to the power three will be cancelled. Now we have only nine. Raised to the power three and upon two raised to the power three. We can write it nine upon two raised to the power three, and that is your answer. Let's do our next exercise four point two. Here is exercise four point one. All the questions are word problem. I'll give you question number one, two, three. So let's do it. Here is exercise four point two. The first word problem. Total number of boiler is given in a factory. I didn't write the question. I have uh, written only the solution. Write the question from your book. So total number of boiler is given nine raised to the power three, and each boiler having capacity of nine raised to the power five. So the question is. What is the total capacity of boilers? It means all the boilers, the total number of boilers. Find the total capacity of total number of boilers. So here we, here I have written uh, the points. Now total capacity of boilers is equals to total capacity equals to. Nine raised to the power five. We will multiply both the numbers. Nine raised to the power five and nine raised to the power three. Each boiler capacity and total number of boiler. Both will be multiplied here. Now base are same. Nine and exponent will be added. Five plus three. It means nine raised to the power eight. Answer is. Total capacity of boilers is equals to nine raised to the power eight. Let's see our next question. That is question number two. Exercise four point two. Question number two is dimensions of washing machine is given. That is two raised to the power three. Three raised to the power four and two raised to the power three. 
and we need to find out the volume to the power 3 we need to find out the uh, volume of washing machine so washing machine look like a cuboid and there is a formula volume of cuboid equals to product of dimension product of dimensions dimensions are given here so 2 raised to the power 6 into 3 raised to the power 4 into 2 raised to the power 3 here 2 uh, base are same but 1 is different so we will put these bases together 2 raised to the power 6 into 2 raised to the power 3 into 3 raised to the power 4 now base are same so uh, the exponent will be added 2 raised to the power 6 plus 3 into 3 raised to the power 4 now 2 raised to the power 9 and 3 raised to the power 4 that is the volume of washing machine this is the answer now let's see the third question exercise 4.2 that is the third question number of words typed in 1 hour equals to 10 raised to the power 3 it means in 1 hour 10 raised to the power 3 words are typed so how many how many words will typed in 10 raised to the power 4 hours so number of words typed in 10 raised to the power 4 hours is equals to we will multiply both the numbers 10 raised to the power 3 that is the words in 1 hour and 10 raised to the power 4 that is hours so bases are same here 10 raised to the power 3 plus 4 10 raised to the power 7 answer it means 10 raised to the power 7 words will be typed in 10 raised to the power 4 hours here we have completed our 4 chapter we will meet with our next chapter, chapter 5. Till then, goodbye and take care.